Hi, I saw you and you saw me, and I saw that you saw me seeing you. I am Gustavo Ornitorinco. Forgive me for hiding. Mr. Burro, the mover, said you're a bit cat, the coolest cat in this pueblo. Oh, I see you're admiring my t-shirt. It's First Officer Doc Billingsley from Space Cat 3611. You look a lot like Commander Whiskers McAvoy, the tough but fair Strike Force leader. From the third season? Feelings mess around. Why so? Hey, buddy. Hey, boss. You doing okay? I don't know, boss. Can you always talk? We weren't around when Andy was little, but I don't remember it being this hard. No, it's a teacher. I'll keep an eye on Forky. No, no, I need to do this. That little voice inside me would never leave me alone. You know, a goal. Huh. Who do you think it is? Who? The voice. You know, it's empty. Who do you think it is? Uh, me. You know, it's a friend. That part of you that tells you things. You know, it's Papa. Fascinating. So your inner voice advises you. Yeah, it's grandma. Where you? Can you step to the name? Mm. Carry me? No. Why do I have to be a toy? Because you have Bonnie's name written on the bottom of your sticks. Why do I have Bonnie's name written on my sticks? Because she... Look, she plays with you all the time, right? Uh, yes. And who does she sleep with every night? The big white fluffy thing? No, not her pillow. You! <sighs> Alright, Forky, you have to understand that the rest of us can't be part of that. Your body's toy. You are going to have to have a memory that will last for the rest of her life. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> you are this for Bonnie? Between it and your body. Okay. Like it or not, you are a toy. Maybe you don't like being one, but you are one. You're a savage. You are going to be there for Andy when he Who's comes. Andy? I mean Bonnie. You have to be there for Bonnie. That is your job. Well, what's your job? Well, right now, it's to make sure you do yours. Carry me. No! Who's Andy? Andy was my other kid. Mm. You had another kid? Yeah, yeah. For a long, long time. It was pretty great. I was a favorite toy, actually. Running the room was my job. Keeping all the toys in place. So he thought Andy's room was a planet? Wow, that is messed up. Right, that's exactly what I thought when he first showed up. <laughs> I mean, how is that not annoying? Thank you. Then you uh, watch them grow up and become a full person. And then they leave. They go off and do things you'll never see. I, 
don't get me wrong, you, you still feel good about it, but then somehow you find yourself after all those years sitting in a closet, just feeling useless. Yeah. Your purpose fulfilled? Exactly. Woody, I know what your problem is. You do? You're just like me. Trash. What is it with you and your ass? It's warm. Yeah. Yeah. It's cozy. I guess. And safe. It's like somebody's whispering in your ear. Everything's gonna be okay. okay. Forky. That's it. That's how Bonnie feels when she's with you. She does? Yes. You mean she thinks I'm warm? Yep. And cozy? Uh-huh. And sometimes kind of squishy? Well, that too, yes. I get it now. I'm Bonnie's trash. Mm. Yes. Wait, what? I am Bonnie's <laughs> trash. No, no, not exactly. She must be feeling awful without me. Woody, we gotta get going. She needs me. Yeah. Hey, Bonnie, I'm oh, coming. Woody, Woody, I'm coming. Noah's sister. Noah's baby. Noah's kids. Noah's dog. like you and me, trash. No one's friends. And I'm very worried that you might be lost. Oh, ready? Bonnie's right there. Yeah, you, we'll have your back. No one's okay. trouble! Yeah. No one's dreamer! Oh, 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 oh,